What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Today, I'm with one of my buddies, Adam. And we find ourselves in the middle of Canada trying to harvest some fish. So today we're gonna do a catch and cook. We're gonna do some walleyes and we're hopefully gonna catch some crayfish. And we're gonna cook them up on shore. So for those of you guys that haven't had walleyes before or haven't had the, uh, the opportunity to have a walleye before, it's a nice white flaky fish and readily available here in the Midwest and the Alp North. So the way we're gonna be targeting them is with live bait and we're gonna be using minnows and jig heads and uh, hopefully we're gonna put some in our cooler. Let's do them right here. You got them by yourself? That's a keeper. Dude, yeah! There we go. Nice. That was easy. That was That's funny. a lot easier. <laughs> That's a lot easier than musky fishing. Just grab you. Just a little guy. Perfect eater. Not a giant. Not something you'd show off, but he will eat. There we go, number one. There's one, nice fish. Nice fish. This gonna be a good one, dude. At least it feels better than the last bite I had. Oh. What are you? Are you a walleye? Because if you're a walleye, you might be kind of big. Staying deep, at least. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, I don't think. Bam! Thanks, doggy. That's a nice one, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I think that might be my over. It's a closed mouth. He's 20 and a half inches. All right. So he's 20 and a half inches. You can keep one that's over, so we're gonna keep this fish. Um, it's almost gonna be enough walleye flies, I think, for Adam and I. So with Adam's small one and this. Decent sized one. I think these is, these are probably the only two fish we're gonna keep. So we're gonna get this guy in the box and uh, sweet. That one bit on the cast. That was super cool. Throwing stuff at me, dude. Let's keep that. See, I had a feeling that's what was down there. He's probably gonna flap. I had a feeling those might be down there. Um, we're gonna let him go. Probably eight inches or so. Kind of fun. Little mixed bag. Multi species day. Nice, dude. Let's go. Good little boat flip there. Thanks for flinging your bait at me. Here, you can no, have this back. I'll take it back. Buddy. Here you go. Thanks, dude. Kind of left my line out there. Oh, oh. I'll get that. Get back down. See, I was just wondering that. I'm like, these feel like little pecks. It's like, I wonder if there's any smaller fish in here. Yeah, dude. Oh! Fish on. After I was just leaving it sit, dude, this is big. I feel bad this fish might have swallowed. It might happen. Oh my gosh, nice, dude. Okay. Yep. Dude, that's a that's tank! A giant, dude. And he didn't even have it swallowed. Look, we we're gonna be able to let him go. Holy cow, that's dude. A tank. That's like a 25. That's a big bigger? fish. All right, guys, so I left my line down there for just like not even 30 seconds while I was helping Adam get like his fish up, but that fish was just chewing on that big minnow. Look at, he was just gumming it. So he was hooked right in the top of the snoot, which is crazy because think of how long that fish could have chewed on it, but that is a nice, healthy walleye. All right, closed mouth, and 23 and a half. This guy is kind of squirmy. We're gonna get him back. Chomping at me, he's pissed. See you, dude. Sweet, that was cool. I wasn't expecting to do that. Heck yeah, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting water drops on it all because I haven't sit on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but right in front of me, like right here, there's a crayfish sitting on that rock. I think we know where we're gonna set the trap. See him? I don't think we're gonna have any problems catching crayfish, dude. That's hilarious. Bam. All right guys, so that's what you want on a walleye filet. So that's why we bleed them too. See the bloodline's pretty much non-existent in that one. Nice clean white filet. All right, um, guts. Should I take the cheeks out of this thing? Let's see if we can get them. A Midwest delicacy, walleye cheek. Okay, um, walleye wings. We'll try it all tomorrow. Some high pressured water. All right guys, so got our fresh caught walleye in there and hopefully that'll catch us some crayfish. We're gonna check this back in the morning, but essentially what this is is a little little trap. So they'll come in up top here. We'll go in down below and start munching on that and they can't figure out how to get out. So let's see how many we catch by morning. What? Look at that one. Holy cow, look at how big his claw is. That is insane. Look at that thing. Look at how big his claw is. <gasps> Alright guys, this is a crazy amount of crayfish. I did not think we were going to get this many, but... Crayfish. That's crazy. There was a bunch of two jujus hanging on the hanging on the side. So we're gonna set this thing back out. Adam and I are about to go fish right now. It's probably about eight in the morning. We don't really want to eat crayfish yet. And uh that's definitely enough for two guys though. It's yeah. a good amount of crayfish. Alright dude, let's go catch some fish and then let's eat these up for lunch. Thanks, sir. Yeah. All right, guys, well, it's lunchtime, and uh, we got ourselves some crayfish, so I'm just gonna add some Old Bay seasoning to this water, a lot of Old Bay seasoning. So I've seen a lot of people, and my buddy Ace used to use, uh, they'd use the Zatarans, like liquid stuff. Couldn't find any of that at my local grocery store, so I'm just gonna load this thing up with Old Bay. Um, I think our only utensil is this. We're gonna get that to a boil and then drop our crawdaddies in. All right, guys, we're prepping these things to cook, but like, look at how big this one's claw is. This is like the biggest crayfish I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. That is crazy. That's giant. Look at, he only has one. I don't know what happened to the other claw, but we found him like that. And then, I mean, these other guys have super big claws too. Like, look at that one. And then this guy. But none of them are as big as that. Like that one dude's single claw is just ginormous. All right, and the crayfish's bath looks like it's ready, so 
we're gonna go ahead and get these guys in there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one, and number twenty-two. That's a lot of crayfish. Now, if you guys are asking yourselves, is that the most humane way to kill them? The answer is yes. Um, it's boiling hot water. They die immediately when they hit, and as you can tell, our friends are no longer with us, so. These are gonna taste good. Hey, this is your first time eating crayfish, right? It is. So about like two weeks ago was my first time eating crayfish, and now Adam gets to try crayfish for his first time, so. Cool stuff. Hopefully that these taste as good as the river crayfish that we found. I've never had crayfish from the lake, so. Traditional shore lunch. I think this is uh, this batter is Cajun batter, so kind of go along with our crawfish cook a little bit. We're self complaining. Planning with that one, Matt. Um, and yeah, this is pretty straightforward walleye fish fry. We just give them a couple minutes on each side, and obviously just some egg here and shore lunch. Nothing too crazy. All right, guys, so the way that you tell when crayfish are done is that you see how that guy's back tail is kind of starting to separate from his body there? That is how you know when the crayfish are done. So a couple of them are doing that already, the smaller ones, um, and then a couple of the bigger ones still need to cook a little longer. So we're going to let this go for about probably three more minutes, and then looks like our fish and our crayfish are going to be done at the same time. Cheeky? Cheek meat. Wings. <laughs> All I wings. That. I'm hyped to try that. Actually, I might make you try it because we only have one. I've only had, mm -hmm. I've had walleye wings once. Split it. Okay. Sweet. All right. All right. So this right here is a walleye cheek and Adam's got the other one in his hand. That's what we cleaned up yesterday. Adam's never had a walleye cheek, so he's going to give it a shot. I think it's still really hot. <laughs> is it? I think so. <laughs> Should I try it? Yeah, give her a go. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm good? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, it's a little more tender than, it's a little more tender than the flays. Just barely. I mean, it tastes really good. All right, crayfish are still cooking, but fish is, fish is ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tastes like I remember Cajun shore lunch tasting. This is like the best batter ever. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any other, I've, I've tried so many different batters like lately. I think this one's the best. Are you excited to try a walleye wing? Does this intimidate you? A little bit. So for those of you guys that don't know what this is, this is called a walleye wing and essentially what it is is there's walleye belly meat like right here and then these are the obviously the fins so they're in the front so some people get crazy and they eat the they eat the fin part but i just kind of eat the meat this kind of tastes like a potato chip really so yeah. it is pretty crispy i'm not gonna eat it give it a shot all right here we go yeah there's bones in there so you don't eat those obviously mm-hmm that's good it's okay just yeah. tastes like walleye, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to it. Mm. That's weird. It's like fatty or meat. No, the fin just tastes like. It's not. It's not horrible. Is he gonna do it? Nope. Will he eat the fin? <laughs> Alright, let's get those great fish.
All right, crayfish. Nice and red. Whoa, got a rogue one. All right, crayfish are done. I'm gonna grab myself a Pepsi. We're gonna have some crayfish now, so. Like I said, this is Adam's first time having crayfish. Um, last time, last time was my first time, and that was in Idaho with Ace. So we're gonna give this a shot. Let's. I'm not gonna be able to teach you very well, just to be honest with you. Yeah, dude, that's not bad at all. Here we go. Party on. Hmm. Hmm? I feel like they could use a little like seasoning or something. A little something. more spice, yeah. yeah. Pretty like pretty straightforward right now. But I'm actually kinda surprised about how well these taste out of the way. really good. Yeah. yeah. They're not bad. Big ones. So that is the big boy. Looks a little more red now and he is piping hot, my god. So that's how big his claw is. Like that's my pointer finger. His whole claw, like the end part of his claw, is like seriously as long as my pointer finger is. We're gonna see how he tastes. Yeah, watch out for that water. Yeah. Oh wow, that's like cracking a crab claw, dude. Oh my dude. gosh. Are you joking? Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty good for this guy, too. Yeah. Is that his claw? Yeah. That's the claw meat from that crayfish. That's like as big as some of the tail meat that I got of other fins, but got wow. some fresh butter here. That is really good. good. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Dude, straight up like crab. That was phenomenal. Eat his tail now. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. This is uh, my first time going out and doing a crayfish catch and cook by myself. And what better place to do it than in Lake of the Woods. These things are, uh, they, they've, uh, They've taken over the waters of Lake of the Woods. They're they're everywhere. They've taken over all the weeds, and uh, we're just kind of doing our part here. And I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. I don't know about you, Adam, but oh, I'm yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, Adam's actually filming his version of this trip. Um, he does like a little more documentary style, makes things look prettier than I do, and uh, takes a lot more time on his edits. So his channel will be linked below. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this episode, please go down, give this video a like, hit subscribe, and uh, until next time, my name is Maverick. You already know the drill, just keep on trucking.